June 17th is World Croc Day. And although each species is amazing, at the Honolulu Zoo, there's one that's more unique than the rest. The Gharial. I'm Charles Lee, and you're watching Zuni LA. No other crocodilian stands out quite like a gharial. The thin snout and sleek bodies of these fish-eating hot rods make them the fastest swimming crocodilians in the world. Not only that, they can also grow to be around 20 feet in length, making them one of the largest. Of course, sometimes they might need a little bit of help. My name is Eric Lauer. I'm a reptile keeper here at the Honolulu Zoo. We have three gharials, one male and two females. The male's name is Louie. Right now, he's a little bit smaller, so I'm trying to beef him up with some extra fish here and there. Hawaii's climate is excellent for these ectotherms. Because they are cold-blooded, gharials rely on heat sources such as the sun to stay warm. And the warmer they are, the more they can grow. They typically eat a lot more in the summertime, so we feed them almost on a daily basis in the summer compared to the winter when their metabolism slows down. They're very intelligent. Typically we whistle a nice melody for them that lets them know it's feeding time. And it isn't just the whistling that they like. Check out that big bump on Louis's nose. That's called a gara. Male gharials use them to attract females by making a buzzing noise in the water and by blowing bubbles. Because girls like a guy who can blow a lot of bubbles. It is our hope that with enough time, care, and food, Louis will soon grow large enough to father offspring here at the Honolulu Zoo. Native to the Indian subcontinent, this species is found in less than a dozen zoos across the United States. Aerials are a critically endangered species. Estimated populations are only about a thousand left on the entire planet. So we're very fortunate to have three here at the Honolulu Zoo. The destruction of their river habitats and poisoning of fish by pollutants are the biggest threats to this species. The good news is that they are bouncing back, thanks to conservation efforts. And you can help too, because fresh water is something that everyone needs. And by protecting our world's water sources, we're not only helping ourselves, but the amazing animals that may be waiting within. I'm Charles Lee, and mahalo for watching Zuni LA!